Hello everyone! My nickname is Amo. Today I brought a sake from Yamaguchi Prefecture. Name of sake is Omine Three Grain. Brewery is Omine Shuzo. Here are the spec of the sake. The type of sake, there's no information about it, but this is probably Junmai Daikinjo. Polish ratio is 50%. Type of rice is Dewa Sansan. This is Yamagata Prefecture's rice. Water comes from Yamaguchi Prefecture. It has an option of Genshu. Alcohol rate is 15%. There's a message from brewery. Our policy try new things, find new innovations. We create sake using modern techniques with respect of traditional method. Our sake is a genshu that pursues the ultimate balance of umami, sweetness, and acidity. Let's estimate the taste of sake. Looking into type of sake, it's not written, but most probably it's Jumai Daiginjo. Aroma should be very gorgeous and fruity. Body is light body, it's very fruity and also sharp. Acidity and complexity are expected to be less. Looking into type of rice. Dewa Sansan. This is Yamagata's rice. Body seems to be light body. Less sweetness, less acidity, less complexity, and very sharp. Looking into type of water. Water from Yamaguchi Prefecture gives strong and dry taste. It has an option of Genshu. This is undiluted, means water not added. It gives wild taste. From this information, I would estimate the taste is very fruity and sharp, less sweetness, acidity, and complexity. Strong and dry, also wild taste. Let me explain a little bit about Yamaguchi Prefecture. Yamaguchi Prefecture is here in blue. It's 1.5 hours from Tokyo by air and 4.5 hours from Tokyo by Shinkansen. It's next to Hiroshima, which I showed last week, and also it's next to Fukuoka Prefecture. About brewery, they once bankrupt but restarted in 2010. They are challenging to find their ultimate sake. I love challenging people. I wish their best. World Heritage in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Name of World Heritage is Sites of Japan's Meiji Industrial Revolution. So one is Shoka Sonjuku Academy and another one is Hagi Castle Town. There are much more, but I just brought the major two. Famous sightseeing places in Yamaguchi Prefecture. One is Tsunoshima Ohashi. Another one is Motonosumi Shrine. And there's much more. Famous foods in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Most famous food is Hugu. Globefish. I recommend sashimi of fugu. There's much more famous foods like kasado hirame, flatfish, and kensaki ika, sword tip squid, and like kawara soba, also kenran beef is famous in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Here are the results of the taste. Aroma was gorgeous, bit fruity, bit dry. First taste was quite strong umami taste. Less sweetness, acidity, complexity are in the middle range. Was quite smooth and sharp. I think this is good for balanced taste and umami lovers. Drink it time! As usual, Friday evening has come. I know you're not watching on Friday evening. But please enjoy Friday evening. Goodbye. Today's appetizer is mini scallops. This is garlic chive and egg cooked with salt base taste. This is warabi. English word is bracken. I don't know. Am I right? I hope you can understand what it is. It's seasonal white plant. And. Uh, Spinach.
nothing to say. He is already a regular. Now for the side dish. Now let's start from regular spinach man. Spinach. No, nothing to say. Always delicious. Wallaby. Also very delicious. Taste of spring. Garlic chive and egg. Very delicious, like the others. Mini scallop. This is cooked with soy sauce. Very delicious. But I think this matches more with sake, so I will keep it for sake. Done with beer. Let me bring sake and main dish. Here it comes. Today's sake, omine three grain. For main day, I could buy globefish and sword tip squid. I was not expecting that I could buy globefish in Guma Prefecture. Let's open the sake. This is really nice with clear bottle. Mm. Color is clear. Aroma is not that strong. Bit fruity, bit dry. Let me taste it. Mmm, very delicious. It's not that sweet. Acidity in middle range. Complexity middle range. Quite smooth, quite dry. By the way, this is a sashimi of blobfish. Is the color is so clear that you can see the design of the dish. Maybe this is second time in my life to eat sashimi of blobfish. Talking about squid, I already showed it and uh, when I tasted the Hokkaido sake, so I will not go deep on squid. Let's try globefish. If you pick it up like this, it's, the color is not clear, but if you put it on a plate, it's clear. Hmm, interesting. Taste is light and it's a little bit chewy. Hmm, very delicious. This sake, I think it's Genshu and I was expecting a little bit wild taste, but it's not that strong and wild. It's quite difficult to express the taste of this sake. Until now, I was not using this word because it's really difficult to translate in English, but first taste, umami comes, next, acidity. Not sweet, quite sharp, quite smooth. Mm, this is very good. It's not strong, it's not light, it's really in the middle. So you can use this during a meal and also after the meal. You can use it anytime. We'll go for squid. Mm, this squid is also fresh and very delicious. Gradually temperature is rising and the aroma is getting Gorgeous. When eating rope fish sashimi, one piece is very small, so it is said that you can pick up two or three. Overall, today's sake, omine three grain, dewa san san. Aroma was a little bit fruity and quite dry. First taste was quite strong. Umami taste. Acidity in the middle. I think the complexity is also in the middle. Quite dry, quite smooth. It had less sweetness. I think this sake is very, very balanced sake and very, very delicious. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Please give me a big thumbs up if you like and subscribe my channel. Movies updates every Saturday. See you! Yo!